Samantha. Today I am filming a classroom slash stage tour. Um, my classroom is on the stage this year. This is my fourth year teaching at my school and my first three years I was in a regular classroom. I'll try to insert pictures if I can so you can see what my classroom used to look like. But this year I've been moved to the stage and I kind of had mixed feelings about it at first. I wasn't really sure how it would work and I know a lot of other theater teachers who have their classes on the stage, they complain about it. Um, kids play with the curtains and it's a little bit more chaotic because it's not an enclosed space. But honestly, I had my first day of teaching on the stage today and it was fine. Um, I'm very lucky that I have a wall that they have on our stage um, that's soundproof, so it's an enclosed space. Start of the school year, I was not even having classes on the stage. Um, they were trying to have the kids staying in one room for most of the day, so I was on a cart and I was really excited when I was told I could have kids in my room because I don't know, teachers know that when you decorate your room and everything, you're really excited for kids to see it, especially this year for me because it is a more non-traditional space. I was really excited to see how I could turn the stage into a classroom and how it really changes the dynamic of my lessons because in my old room, I had tables and chairs. We had two huge carpets that we could use as a stage. This, um, the space is different. It's bigger and smaller at the same time. And it's just a nice way to kind of rejuvenate my lessons and get my creative juices flowing because I have to figure out a whole new space. So it's been pretty fun. And like I said, this was only my first day teaching on the stage. So we'll see if things change throughout. But as of now, I really like it. And I'm really excited for you to see my new classroom slash stage. This is what's on the other side of my door. A coworker gave me this drama drive sign. Types of staging. I'm not gonna show you what's on this side of the ramp because it has pictures of students. But what I did was I made kind of like a wall of fame and I put posters from shows that we've done in previous years. And next to it is the program and pictures of kids doing the show. My old bedroom, it's a cute theater sign. This isn't mine, I don't play piano, but <laughs> this is where it is <laughs> if I ever need it. I use it as a set piece for Music Man because a character plays the piano in the Music Man. And this is the general view of my classroom slash stage. Kids enter. We have this door right over here. I got a lot of these yellow dot stickers and I kind of went crazy with them this year, but they're easy to take off. I got this from a coworker two years ago and I just think it's so funny. Actor parking only, violators will be typecast. And this is a really cute sign that says, I found the theater and I found my home. I got that sign from BroadwayCon this past year in New York City. I love BroadwayCon. Oh, probably won't happen this year, sad face. And this is my poster that I really like. There are no small parts. They have, I have to be with all my sets and it's kind of sad because this is from Wizard of Oz and because of COVID um, we got canceled on the actual day of our performance and I'm kind of over it kind of not but it's just <laughs> it's interesting that I always have to be reminded my fandom mask I don't remember where I got this um, it's really funny because I was one of those teenagers that had a really nerdy musical theater bedroom and a lot of my bedroom accessories have just moved to classroom accessories <laughs> because now I'm an adult and I, it's weird to have random theater stuff all over your bedroom when you're married and everything. A worker was nice enough to give me a bunch of these cushions so that kids can sit on the floor. 
And then I didn't have enough, so I'm, I'm, they're, they're actually being ordered right now, so they should be coming soon, so I'll get more of the cushions. But our gym teacher was nice enough to let me borrow these rubber spots. Pass. Usually the wall is actually pushed back, so what happens is what I would do is just crank it up over here, and I'd be able to just move all of these different panels to the side over here, and they're all lined up along that little railroad thing. Um, but the cool thing about this wall, I was worried, I thought it was one of those walls that if you touched it, it would move, but nope, it's nice and sturdy, it doesn't move. Red chair, I literally just found, I think a teacher just didn't want it anymore, and I found it on the hallway next to all the stuff that people were giving away, and I was like, this is so comfy. I'm not letting kids sit on it yet because that would be annoying to clean or anything, but it's so comfy for me to sit on when I just want to relax. So. so the funny thing is when I was teaching on a cart, the thing that I missed the most was actually having my own board because I am pretty old-fashioned. A lot of teachers, they mostly use their smart board and they don't really write on boards anymore but I'm old-fashioned I like writing on boards I a lot of times I like to write in the middle of a lesson or at the very least I really like having my agenda for every class up on the board and it's really funny because I remember in grad school one of the reasons we were taught to do that is because oh you don't know if the kids a lot of kids if they have anxiety they might be nervous not knowing what's going to happen in class so having that visual of oh what are we doing today what's the next step so they don't feel like they don't know what they're coming into especially if drama is not their favorite subject but <laughs> I'm a little selfish the reason I like it is because it helps me too because as I'm teaching, if I ever get caught up and I don't remember what's next, I can go, oh, I can't forget to do interview your character teacher edition before I do the student edition. It's just a nice reminder of what I need to do. And I have each class starting with classroom stage etiquette first, just because it is our first day on the stage and I want to talk about, hey, let's talk about if we should ever touch these curtains or if we should ever touch the hot air balloon back there or the Wizard of Oz scenery. This was a fireplace set piece from Cinderella, which is a show we did two years ago. And the art teacher and a custodian who is amazing, they worked on this together. And for the show, we didn't actually have these flames. I, I just made them so that they looked cute in the classroom. Uh, he actually had something you could plug in that would look like actual fire. It was like a light. So this was our set piece for Cinderella, and I just thought it would be cute. It could give the classroom like a little living room vibe. And it does get a little cold in here, so sometimes I like to pretend it's a real fireplace. <laughs> and this is my director's chair, which shockingly another teacher gave away. I didn't get this myself, and I was like, well, how perfect is this? So because the panels have to be able to fold in, I obviously don't have a place to put my markers, so I have my little caddy. With my expo, expo markers and my eraser. Any elementary drama teachers watching, I'm sure you know what it's like to not have too much wing space. <laughs> this is actually pretty good on this side compared to other elementary stages I've seen. But that side, as you can see when we actually do shows, can't really do much with that side. I do have that ramp there, but it's a struggle. Wing space. Another accessory from my old bedroom. I really like this J. Land of Oz in North Carolina. It's in Beach Mountain, North Carolina. It's this Wizard of Oz theme park. And they were doing private tours this summer. And I thought this was super cute. Here is the backdrop that our amazing art teacher painted. We have two panels, so we put them together for Emerald City. And the other side was Dorothy's farm. She is absolutely amazing. This is something else I got really cool from a coworker. Um, it's Mrs. J, and each letter is a musical. 
And I get really happy because I show my third graders singing in the rain. So once they see it, I, I point this out to them and they get really excited. Um, this is funny. <laughs> so I do teach musical theater history to my third graders as well. And I got this nice laminated poster. I got this poster. But there needs to be a third one because the history of musical theater 2 ends in the year 2009. And they have, at least not that I have found, they have not made an updated one. We need one for the last 10 years. So if you're a theater teacher and you find one, if you find the history of musical theater 3, I would really love that because let me know because... And I don't want to get a random one that's not the same style because that would look weird if it was just like a completely different looking poster. So if it was like a similar poster and this style, but it went up to present day, that would be really cool. And one of the reasons I was excited to move to this stage is because I got to be near my storage area. Because unlike my other classroom, I don't have a, that much storage space, but I have this huge room. And like I said, everything's a little bit of a mess, but also I had to strike a show <laughs> and I wasn't in the mood to strike a show. And I have props that I don't know when I'm gonna use because theater teachers let me know when you think you can use props again because we don't want kids touching the same stuff. My puppet theater, I'll bring that out whenever I need it. Um. This was my um, scarecrow's pole. And all my costumes that I also don't know when we're going to be allowed to wear costumes again. We will see. But I like my classroom. I think um, having a classroom on a stage gets a bad rap from performing arts teachers. And it is kind of weird and annoying, especially I'm not even thinking about when I want to do shows again because how annoying would it be? I'd have a bunch of kids, they'd be my stage crew, they'd have to strike my classroom whenever I needed to do a show. So that is annoying. But I will say, I like being able to have the stage vibe and have sets around my classroom. Having stage lights. I was having the idea that with the older kids, when they start performing their own scenes, they could even try lighting, designing their own they could try light designing their own scenes. It's kind of annoying <laughs> the way my lights work. I wish they worked like actual stage lights. I need a lighting board or something, but the annoying part is, so they don't shut off right away. So it's not really a clean cut way. They kind of dim out. So it's hard to have like a regular nice clean blackout if you ever need it. So I end up using the curtain most of the time when I do shows, but Sometimes I like to do work in here with the lighting like this because it gives it a nice quiet ambiance, but I'll put all the lights on for the kids because it is a little dark. And there you have it. Um, please, if you have any advice, any other theater teachers who teach on a stage, if there's anything that I need to be aware of, um, if there's any cool ideas you have, or if I gave you any ideas, that would be awesome. Um, I know that when you're a theater teacher, a lot of times you are in a non-traditional space. I was really happy because my first year of teaching, I was happy I was going into a regular classroom just because it was easier for me to imagine what my class would be like because it was more in a traditional space but if you're like me now and you have a more non-traditional space like a stage or even a gym or I know some people right now are teaching outside if they can whatever your space is I hope that you are able to find a way to make it yours and have an exciting drama class with everything going on and to give kids that one happy space and to give yourself that happy space where at least you feel safe and you know that you can be creative and you can have fun and you can forget about all the stresses of the world for a bit. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.